Have you ever carved a piece of wood? At first, it could be almost anything, and then you decide to make a boat. But you still may not be sure what kind of boat it'll be, even after you have carved part of the wood. Later on, it could be only the particular kind of boat you decided to make. The pattern of development of the fertilized egg is very different. These are embryos. They look something like question marks, and to us, that's what they are. At this stage, we can't tell a fish from a chicken or a rabbit from a human being. At a later stage, we can recognize the fish, but the others still look similar, and even the human embryo has a tail. In the final stages, we can recognize all the embryos. In each case, the pattern of development was set at the very beginning. A pattern that could not be changed at any stage to form a different kind of animal. Each living thing reproduces only its own kind. The new life develops according to the pattern that is set at the time the egg is fertilized. The fertilized egg divides into many cells, and these arrange themselves into three layers. Outer layer. Middle. And the inner. Each has its specific job to do. The inner layer of cells makes the lining of the alimentary or digestive canal. The alimentary canal is concerned with the feeding of the body and consists of the mouth through which food enters the body, the esophagus or food pipe that leads straight to the stomach. The stomach squeezes the food into a pulp and pushes it bit by bit into the small intestine. In the small intestine, it is pushed by the muscular walls to the large intestine. It, in turn, ends in the rectum, which leads to an opening for the elimination of solid wastes. The food we eat is digested in the alimentary canal, that is, chemically changed into small molecules that pass into the bloodstream through the cells along the walls of the alimentary canal. The inner layer of cells also makes the lining of the respiratory system. The respiratory system consists of the nasal passages through which air is breathed into the trachea or windpipe, through the bronchial tubes and into and out of the lungs. The inner layer of cells makes those parts of the body concerned with the feeding of the body, the alimentary canal, and with breathing and respiration, the respiratory system. The middle layer of cells makes the framework of the body. The framework is made of bone which supports and protects the body. Bone is lightweight compared to other materials that are as strong. Because the framework is light, the body can be moved about easily. The middle layer of cells also makes muscle, which pulls upon the framework and makes it possible for the body to move around. An important muscle of the body is the heart. The heart pumps blood to all parts of the body. The middle layer of cells also makes the blood. The heart pumps the blood into the body through the arteries. It returns to the heart through the veins.
two other important parts of the body, which are made by the middle layer of cells, are the kidneys, organs whose function is the excretion of liquid wastes from the body, and the sex organs, testes in the male, ovaries in the female, which produce the reproductive cells. The outer layer of cells makes the skin that covers the framework and muscles of the body. And it makes the brain, which makes possible thinking, consciousness, and sensation. And the rest of the nervous system, with its nerves arranged something like the lines and wires of a telephone system. The outer layer of cells also makes parts of the sense organs. The eyes, the nose, and the ears. And some parts of the body that might be called the finishing touches, such as the hair and the fingernails and toenails. The body is made up of millions of cells, all of which came from the original three layers. These are the three great divisions of cells out of which our bodies are fashioned. The three layers of cells produced by the fertilized egg form more cells out of which the various parts of the body are made. Most of these are called body cells. Before birth, body cells are concerned with the formation of the new body. After birth, they repair and replace injured or worn out parts. We can see the new cells that repair the damage. They form the pink skin on a cut that is healing. The cells repairing the damage are body cells. In addition to body cells, there is another kind called the reproductive cells. In females, the reproductive cells are called egg cells. The egg cells are formed in the ovaries inside the female body. The male reproductive cells are formed in the testes, and they are called sperm cells. Reproductive cells are concerned only with beginning new life. Body cells are concerned with forming the new individual before birth, and then with his growth and development throughout his life. No matter what we're doing, our body cells are always working, doing many jobs to keep us alive and healthy. While the only time the reproductive cells function is when they join together to make a new life.